Welcome back, heroes, to some more Pokemon Soulstones 2 Time Wardens. Last episode, we made our way to Cassiopeia City. You can just see the gang to the right. We're going to speak to them in a second. Made our way through at Route 9, A and B. Did a lot of side quests underwater. Found Moby, the uh, the giant ghost whale lord that was actually pretty tough. Managed to catch it. And uh, also, there's an update for this game, so make sure you update the game. That fixes uh, some of the lag that I was experiencing and a few other things. So, I think we've spoken to these people already. Let's go and uh, speak to the gang. Yo! Ah, Volti, you've arrived. Very good. Now we're just waiting on Caitlyn to arrive. Artie got here a little while back and has uh, filled both Sienna and I about your recent escapades to the underwater trenches of Route 8A and 8B, as well as traversing the Caverns of Rhea. Hmm, the Caverns of Rhea? That was the name of one of my old friends and another Time Warden. Oh, yeah, about that, Kara. I think we need to learn more about what exactly happened and how you uh, came to be a Time Warden. We have a theory as to how the ley lines move, but there was also that interaction that you had with uh, Dialga back in the Temple of Time after he saved us from the large anomaly. He mentioned he did not want to meet you under such conditions, and you were ill-prepared for your duty, but you had to step up after the Time Wraiths were sacrificed uh, when you had to uh, capture the creature that is trapped within your pendant. What is going on? Does that pendant have anything to do with what's going on? Uh, can it help us against these anomalies? I'm not sure. It was a makeshift prison that was created to capture a great evil in my timeline. However, uh, to do so, the Time Wraiths sacrificed themselves to greatly weaken this entity. When it was sufficiently weakened, we performed a ritual to split its essence into eight fragments, with a fragment being trapped in eight pendants, each held by a Time Warden. So who are these other Time Wardens, Kara? Ordinary people, like you and me. I think we just end up being the people that had to bear this burden because of our prior involvement. This was not supposed to be the plan, but this evil entity, this mind link ended up surging in power, and this was the only solution we had come up with in short order to trap the creature and prevent its power from growing further. Uh, pardon, but it doesn't seem to be terribly productive to discuss Kara's history at this particular juncture. If you want, uh, you can speak with her later. For the time being, we need to determine what we're going to be doing now. My ward, Angelo, is probably attempting to find his way through the desert and the young leaders of the court of space, Leo and Celine. Our priority should be in, should be in uh, making our way to them before Angelo does. You're right, Sienna. Unless Dialga finds the time to leisurely chat with us about how we can uh, get out of this predicament, seems like we're on our own. So now as for rescuing the leaders of the Cult of Space, Leo and Selene, we need to make our way to Cassiopeia Oasis. So we have, to, we have some time to spare, though, fortunately. So what do you mean? The Cult of Space has erected a magical barrier that prevents uh, entry into the Temple of Space. To access the temple, we need to find the Sigil of Space. So how are we going to do that? So when the Origin Cult first fractured into the Court of Time and Court of Space, Liu and Selene's father, uh, Mordecai, was entrusted with the Sigil of Space. He's long since been deceased, and my understanding is that he took the Sigil with him to his grave. So a bit of grave digging, yeah? <laughs> his grave? Well, if the Sigil is in the grave, then that means it's safe. Angelo can't get to Liu and Selene. Have you not been paying attention? It's not about Angelo uh, to go desecrate in a tomb. Uh, he will pillage all of the tombs to find Mordecai's resting place and the Sigil of Space. Well, what are we supposed to do? If we don't believe the Sigil is, in a safe, is, is safe in Mordecai's tomb, then it's going to be us that has to desecrate the tombs and unearth his resting place. <laughs> don't mind that, but not quite. There is a way for us to reveal the, the true Sigil without unearthing any tombs. You see, Mordecai was a wise man. He knew that eventually someone would want to come after the Sigil. So he made copies of them and left a trail, oh, trail of puzzles behind to throw people off. He buried each of these sigils in different tombs throughout the Cassiopeia Oasis. Uh, you would never know what is the true sigil of space unless you knew what the sigil looked like. Now I know what the sigil looks like. And we can call out to the uh, sigil to materialize in front of us without having to forcefully desecrate a tomb. Well, that's good. <laughs> so which tomb has the sigil? Unfortunately, I do not know the exact location, of course. We'll have to use the uh, trial and error until we uh, find the right sigil. Alright, I guess we have some sigil hunting to do. Faulty, we shall meet you at the entrance of the Cassiopeia Oasis. Follow Route 10A and 10B to get there. Oh, and Faulty, Aquila City is a small detour away from Cassiopeia City. You can stop by there if you want, but try not to take too long. We'll be waiting at the entrance of the Cassiopeia Oasis for you. Hopefully by the time we find the sigil, uh, Caitlin has her signal dampener uh, tech working. We're going to need that to use against uh, Angelo should he decide to start tricking those ley lines at Quakes again. Alright, so... Where is this uh, Aquila town? Is it literally on the way or is it like a little bit out of the way? So we're here. There's a temple of space. 
So I guess we could check this place out, like... Because I, I guess we get here, then we take a left, but we can just go up. Let's go explore this city first. Hopefully get some free stuff, because free stuff is best stuff. Oh, we got some questions. Alright. What do you say? Oh, I just realized the professor's not here. It's not the first time she hasn't shown up in a Pokemon Center, right? <laughs> but anyway, uh, what ability allows all non-contact moves to have 100% accuracy? Oh, I don't know. Keen Eye looks familiar. Nope. Sharpshooter? Okay. So Sharpshooter is an ability that allows any non-contact move to have 100% accuracy. Pokemon such as Sharpedo have this ability as their hidden ability. Right, next question. Uh, what held item extends the duration of Sandstorm from 5 to 8? Smooth Rock. Yay! I actually knew something. <laughs> right, next one. Last one. What move causes physical or special damage depending on what will deal more damage? Uh... Nope, that's not it. I honestly have no idea. Let me read that again. So the question is... What move causes physical or special damage depending on what will deal more damage? It's not Sandstorm and Magnitude, so it's got to be the Rift. Yeah, okay. Sweet. It's an excellent move for a mixed Pokemon's repertoire. So if you're guessing correctly, you win a fabulous prize! We've got the Relic Crown, which we can sell for some money. Oh, that's it. It's the only uh, thing we got. <laughs> Alright, so what can we find up here? We've got the Move Maniac. Some Heart Scales. Might be good to maybe learn some new moves. Is there anything that's really good? Dead Silence. Oh no, we want a um, special move. There's a lot of moves for uh, Octavion. <laughs> I don't think there's any I want. So get a free egg. I've got to go around and hatch all these eggs soon. Got so many. So we've kind of got like a small Pokemon Center here compared to other ones. We can get grinded up if you need to. Wait, what level can we get to? Because I don't want to be under leveled. I don't want to be over. I can't really get over level, can I? But let's just uh, quickly use Tinkerton. So, what level are you going to be? 51! Okay, maybe I should do a little bit of grinding. I think that might be a good idea. We'll get everyone to level like maybe 51. <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep Bone Club because I just like that flinch. Flinch is too good. Yeah, so let me do a little bit of grinding. I'll see you guys back here when everyone is... Everyone's a decent level. Okay, so I've done some grinding. We are looking good. Everyone is now level 50. Let's go and destroy everyone. Ha <laughs> ha. I think as well, I think off screen, I've got to just do a little bit of grinding for everyone in the box. Just to bring up our old team members up a little bit. And just um, maybe see some new evolutions. But this team I've got right now, I just I love it. Love it. But stop giving me such weird looks for having my umbrella out. I know it isn't raining, but umbrellas are useful for shooting against both rain and sun. Here, take this and see for yourself. Yeah, I'm not judging. Don't want to get sunburned, you know? I've heard that uh, some of the underground caverns along Route 10A and 10B have some ancient tablets that belong to a lost civilization. But there's probably some people in the Orion region that would be interested in those tablets. Ooh, absolutely. Well, this city seems a lot bigger than I thought. Okay. Right, uh, let's take this slow. So this little opening in the trees allows you to perch yourself atop a hilltop and just watch the ocean waves. I and mean, it's quite nice to be honest. But we'll start from like here and then we'll make our way left to right then up, right to left and go to all the houses. Might find some side quests we can do. But my friend, how do you do? I do a pretty alright and you want to give me still wing? Um, I'm good but thank you. Uh, yo. Hello. Would you like a poker tree? I would. Just finished baking a batch. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Both an ace trainer and ace triple tri player. Oh, dude, I've got to go around and do a triple tri at some point. I love triple triad, but like, there's just so much to do. I, I just, I'm going to do it when we get probably some, if I can buy some cards, actually, that'd be really nice. Was this one of the black market I could buy cards from? I think there was, right? But uh, anyway, if you have any of your Pokemon have the ability a light aura, dark aura, or fairy aura, you should be very afraid of the ability aura break. Those abilities ordinarily increase the effectiveness of light, dark, or fairy type moves by 33%, but if the enemy has the ability to aura break, the effectiveness gets inverted. Oh, damn. 
That is very scary. I love the sand. The sands don't don't bother me. In fact, I want them to last longer. I'm sure this is the case in battle for use of this. Yeah, I cannot relate. I do not like the sand. Honestly. Not a big lover of the beach. Hot areas. I don't know. When I, when I went into like a nice sunny holiday. Last holiday I was on. Abroad, it was just... I, I like it for like a couple of days. And then I'm just like, oh, I want to go back to like the cold. <laughs> Can't deal with heat very well. If you want to go traveling out in the uh, desert, my personal recommendation is to have an ice type Pokemon because ice type moves are strong against ground, which are fairly common out in the desert. Uh, I mean, we got Delphox, I guess we could just use. Got Scold. That'll do. Looking for an Arbok, I'll trade you with my Zorak or Sharpedo. If I had an Arbok, I definitely would. Triple Triad, I would love to play, but I just got I'm on a mission right now. Got things I need to do. Is there like no side quests over here as well? I feel like it's like a great place to maybe have one or two side quests. Uh, hi. Hey, look like you can use this. I mean, let's get free stuff. I'll take the free stuff any day. Uh, yo. Best triple triad player. Uh, I'll take your word for it. Oh, dude, I love the Tangrove. Tangroves are tumbleweed Pokemon. They've grown to such a size after being blown around in the wind and accumulating vines, weeds, and, and the like. Don't let their apparent size fool you though, despite their mass, they are very lightweight. That like tumbleweed Pokemon Gen 9. When I played the game, I thought, like when I saw it, I thought, oh that's it. I didn't realize until I was opening like packs of cards. It had an evolution. I was like, oh, it evolves? I still don't like it. But man, I feel like instead of just making that tumbleweed Pokemon, I think it looks bad to for me. I should have just made like a regional like Tangela like that. That would have been perfect. 100%. Oh dear, how do I get to the ferry? Looking for directions, uh, it was on the west end of the city. Good karma, please! Uh, Pokemon such as Marini or Ferrocid appear in both tropical or arid environments. They masquerade as plants that are naturally occurring in either of these climates, so you can find them anywhere. Scientists have yet to determine how they manage to thrive in such uh, opposing climates. So that's where we can get the, uh, the blimp, but sometimes I come out to this hilltop just to watch the ocean. It's very peaceful. At least when it isn't blowing a bunch of sand. Yeah, that's... Ugh. Oh, I think there's an item behind. But, uh, the perpetual sandstorms out on Route 10A and 10B and Cassiopeia Oasis are infuriating. I can imagine. But that's like the whole place. I'm surprised there's no side quests in here. Quite a big city. Let's talk to you. My wife's work is so uh, demanding of her. For myself, I'm not used to the local cuisine of the desert yet. Ugh. Uh, yo, just moved here from Indus Village. My Sneasel does not like the desert. I mean, it'll be a great place to grind though, because it's grass type. <laughs> Got a Giga Potion, sweet. Okay, so let's make our way to Route 10A. Actually, let's first talk to you. A T Dodrio trade either Houndoom or a Beware. Honestly, I think I'd rather keep the T Dodrio, but oof. The Fire Breather and even I'll tell you that the desert dunes of Route 10A are scorching hot. Oh, look. Zora, it's so good. All right. 10A, here we go. Oh, side quest, there you go. Ah, oh, son of a... They got poisoned by a wild Arbok. My only hope is to obtain an anti-venom. Wild Marinis along Route 10A can provide a curative liquid from their leaves that can be administered to counteract the venom of wild Arboks. I need your help, stranger, or else I'll die. <laughs> uh, I can collect some anti-venom. I'm saved! Search the sandy dunes of Route 10A. There'll be wild Marini roaming about this area. You should be able to harvest some anti-venom that drips off their leaves relatively easily as they are fairly passive creatures when they are not at risk of being harmed. If you can collect enough anti-venom from, say, eight of them, that should be enough to get me back to health. Please, hurry, I can already feel the dizziness from the Arbok's venom. I'll never forget, like, when I, um, saw a video of what, like, snake venom does to your blood. I was like, watch this little video, this guy was like, oh, here's some, like, blood in a jar, it was just, like, what's that, swirly. Put a little bit of, uh, venom in, and it just, it turned, like, hard jelly. I was like, oh, imagine that going inside your body, that'd be, oh, painful, horrible. Disgusting, man. It'd be funny if this quest had like a time limit to it, you know? Go do it quick, otherwise he actually dies. Cause I could do this like probably <laughs> end of the game, do it after I finish it, and then come back and like, you dead yet? Nope. All right, you're good. Probably have enough time to walk to a uh, Pokemon Center, and they can maybe have some anti venom. I'm sure, the ones over here will probably have some. But oh man, I'm so thirsty. Uh, I think I have like a lemonade you can have. I like the lumbre. Uh. To be fair, this ain't too good for us. 
I'm thinking maybe uh, if I go for a Lunar Dance, which is basically Calm Mind, and then we'll go for a Moonblast. I was really hoping to one shot you. Oh man, that so much damage. That Sandstorm's gonna finish me off and Grass. Oh man, I was hoping to fight lots of um, like ground types. We got <laughs> we got grass types against my water type. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Who should I go into? I don't know who has. Have you got a poison type move, Greninja? Oh no, you. For a second, I thought you were um, poison electric. Your ghost electric. Ah, all right. Uh, it's just death warts. Kill you. And then last one. It's not, oh, no, it is very effective. Okay, we're not it's neutral. Let's go Thunderbolt finish you off. Ooh. I can't wait to see what the uh, the Incineroar looks like because I, I do like the Toro Cat quite a bit. All right, uh, let me just get healed. I feel like I have some yeah Ultra Potions. Oh no, I need to get Revive first. Do I have Revive? I'm not using my Max Revive. No way. Use the normal one, and then we can just, uh... First, let me see the encounters around here. That would be a good idea. Anything I want. Mmm. Kind of want the Love Vesta. Oh, my God. The camera up looks amazing. Oh, I have to go for the camera up. <laughs> that looks so good. Yeah, all right. So let's make it. Is it daytime? It's ten a.m. I feel like daytime's probably gonna be from twelve, right? So camping gear. Oh, that's so much better than uh, changing the time of day. Oh, I like that. Guess that was with the update. Sweet. Yeah, so make sure you update the game. If the game gets another update, just let me know and I will update as soon as I as I can. I don't love to have power on so much. But I just need this camera up. I'm not gonna pop a repel till we find it. And then once we do our pop. There we go! Look at that! It looks so sick! Oh, I really like that. Ah, oh, spy water. Okay, uh, do I have a quick ball? I do! Come on, be cool, be cool. Oh, you legend! Oh, the camera up so sweet. I, I want to see what a mega camera up looks like. So due to the reservoir on its back, it's able to endure for long periods without water. Consequently, it is often used as a beast of burden. That shade of red as well is just, oh, that is a nice shade of red. Right, let's pop a repel now. Actually, if I have a repel, I don't think I do. No, I do, I do, I do. I've got a few. All right, let's try to find these marini. So we got one, we need eight. Uh, hi. So I'm serving my uh, penance in the wilds of the desert. Battle me! Okay, sir, I will battle you. Oh, our butt looks cool. You can definitely tell it's dangerous with that uh, little skull on its, okay, on its chest. Body? I guess just say body would be easier. Uh, so let's, yeah, Tinkerton should be fine. I think. Good bone club. And then one more. I say I'm not like I don't know. I wouldn't say I was ever scared of snakes. Maybe brought really big ones, but the videos I've been watching recently, of snakes I think are a bit dangerous. When I was a kid, I was like maybe like I was I don't know maybe thirteen, maybe a little bit younger, a little bit older. No, I don't think I was older. But anyway, went to the zoo twice. Or uh, my friend's birthday. I think he had like one year and then it went again for the next year. <laughs> it's really like the zoo. But uh, I got chosen to go on stage and hold a snake. I told it before, but in case you don't know, like the first time I held a snake, I held the. Um, like it, was, it was two people to hold it. Like one holds the back half, one holds the front half. First time I got to hold the back half. And like the, the snake started wrapping itself around me, like wrapping right around my arm like three or four times. The lady was like, oh, that means it likes you. I was like, I'm pretty sure it wants to kill me, but okay. And then, the, oh, this is not going well. This tank is actually destroying me. And the next time, the year after, I got to hold the front of the snake. 
and it kind of just like kept putting its tongue out, just uh, going like right round my private parts, and I honestly thought it was gonna bite me, and I was getting pretty scared. <laughs> but it was fine. Like I don't know, holding a snake was kind of cool. It feels nice. That's kind of weird to say, but I don't know. Like I thought, I thought a snake would be like slimy at first, but then I held it. It was just dry and it, I don't know, the, the, the skin, good feeling on it, good texture, <laughs> talking about like it's food, but yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd hold a snake again, but I don't think I'd want to go near like a wild one, or like someone's pet, like I'd probably just trust like a zoo person, <laughs> I don't know, I like, I like snakes, uh, okay, there's one marini, sorry, there's two, that's a core fish. Can't go up this way. This desert is oh, annoying with those little uh, ledges. What have we got here? Throat spray. Hey. Raise a special attack when a Pokemon uses a sound based move. Ooh. That would be good for uh, Octavion. Oh, another one. Might put that onto the battle belt once we. Uh... Oh, let's grab that. Uh, once we get into like a tough battle. I was going to double check. I'm pretty sure. If this, just say like the game gets really difficult. And I, I need to like use more items. I can turn the battle belt off right. And use it normally. Like how the items work. I feel like that was a setting at the start. I was going to keep the battle belt on as long as I can. Because I've done it through the whole game so far. Oh my Nedry looks sick. I should look through the options again. Because there was a lot of like stuff at the start. Probably forgotten, missed a few things, but that's just, I love all the other features in this game. So sweet and let's good dark pulse. Good, good, good. Because I'm glad it all this grinding, because this is hard as it is, and without the grinding, that would have been even more difficult. Uh, I guess we'll just go Siren Song, and we're gonna miss. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ground flying is such an annoying type. Like, the lady was right, definitely have an ice type going through here. I thought I'd be fine with a water type, but no, you definitely want an ice type because there's a lot of grass. Um, I think Tinkatong should be fine. Gonna go Dragon Dance. And then we go Dragon Hammer. Nice. And, oh, that should definitely kill you. Good, good. All right, I need to just like avoid a battle for a second. Let the bliss bot heal me up. Nice. Uh, it's a cave. That's oh bone. Nineteen percent. Nice. Oh, and a marini. Right. Can we get any higher? Or do I have to go through the cave? Oh, I don't know if I want to jump down here. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, definitely don't want to go this way. I don't think I can go... Oh, no, no, I'll take it back, I'll take it back. I can. I thought this was taking me to a dead end. Oh. Oh, what's this? Nothing. <laughs> uh, can you imagine if these places didn't have an exit? Oh, they do have an exit, good. I'll be trapped down here forever. Uh, electrode. Uh, let's go scold. So, oh, great. You one shot me. Um, someone in the comments told me that the... See that? The symbol there. That was, I believe, when I was playing, that was ground and the other one was rock. But then I switched it, so that's a rock. I think. Right? And you're going to go for explosion. Great. Thanks, electrode. Oh, dude, it's taking to look sick. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, man, I love that one. Oh, that's such a banging design for Executor. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, wow. Frostmoth. Not really frosty no more, but uh, what should we go for? Guess we'll look at Strike. Dude, these designs are just banging. Uh, I think... For a ninja, and then we'll go... Yeah, because Thunderbolt affects it. Yeah, that's good. 
So that's now rock. I was gonna say, when I was playing it like the, the uh, update earlier, I thought I kept getting confused between that and the other one, ground and rock. I'm glad they switched it. Just that one, I don't know, I could, I could see an argument for ground being rock, but the rock one, that being ground, to me that just looks like rock. Nice, good damage and cool collapse. Come on, let me just get up. Oh, well, that scold off. Who's got the burn? Has anyone got a priority move? I don't think anyone does. Okay. Ouch. That. Ba -ba 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 oh, whoa, Swampert. Looks sick. Uh, yeah, Babaracles in this game. Dangerous. Very scary. Oh, I don't think this is. Yeah, not very effective. But that is. And it's like no damage. Okie dokie. Uh. DJ Pika, you got anything that's good here? Definitely not. Magnetic Cannon. Nice. Just one more, one more. Woo! Man, I love my DJ Pika. Ah, oh, Vanillax looks so much cooler. I like this more than the, uh, the, the poison one. It's just all goopy. <laughs> uh, I guess. Magnetic cannon. Dude, these battles are tough. Uh, let's go perfect pitch. Ooh, just living. All right, no more fights. No more fights until the Blitz Bot fully heals us up. Oh, it's a side quest though. Hello, my friend. I take it you're here. You're in here. Uh, you're hunting for some relics. Uh, sure. I'll tell you what. If you're interested in sharing the effort, I can tell you what to look for. In exchange, we split any relics we find evenly between the two of us. Yeah, sure, why not? So, there are these little grey statues, you have seen them, that can be uh, found throughout the Sandswept Grotto. If you tap them very carefully, you can have them pop out a little tablet that contains some markings of an ancient civilization. They are very valuable if you know the right buyer. So if you see these statues and can bring these relics to me, I shall compensate you for your trouble. If you uh, find, say, nine of them... Okay. So is that why I couldn't interact with them before, because they were like side questy things? So that's one. Uh, I'm worried that like a, a Pokemon's gonna pop out and fight me. So that's three. So I'm guessing there's more Grottos to go through. So six more to go. Got to try and remember where this. Is. Oh, okay. Uh, this place is so big. I'm trying. I'm losing track of where I've been. And haven't been. Oh, another Marini. Right, let's not fight that dude. We can go up that way. I don't think I want to go that way just yet. So maybe that... Oh, so that's all the Marini's done. Uh, I'm guessing, yeah, that cave on the, on the right I saw was... Uh, for one of these, like, side quests. I don't want to fight that dude, so I'm just going to run past him. Uh, another one. Nice. That's five. Mm, oh, six. I got a flame plate. Hey. Let's jump down. So this takes us here. And if I go, oh, wait. I think if I go down. Pop that another repel. There should be one over. I guess we're going from this side, right? I hope this takes me where I think it's going. Right, that's seven. Two more. Ah, once you jump off this ledge, you can't get back unless you drop down from the uh, one of the pits on Route 10 8. Okay, it's good. Good thing I found the pit then, because I was going to try and find the cave entrance and go in from there. Uh, I'm going to go Lunar Dance. Please die. Nice. All right. Oh, you're... Oh, no, I, I fell for it again. I think that's exactly what I did last time. I was like, oh, ground rock, you're super dead. And then it got water absorbed. <laughs> oh, I hate you so much. All right, what to go for? Magnetic cannon still super effective. Oh, no, this king was going to sweep me, isn't it? Oh, it's so going to sweep me. Uh, look at this. this. Yeah, this kingler. King was too good. Okay, none of that. Uh, I guess the only move I can go for is thing. Oh, yep. 
Kinglet is gonna just destroy me. <gasps> oh, okay, okay, okay. Just Octavion, you can live one attack, right? One attack and we can we can win. Dude, it just wrecked me! Oh, I need to get back there. That was Kingler man! Stupid water absorb! Alright, I want my revenge. So, Luna Dance. Luna Dance. Gonna heal up. Uh Luna Dance. Gonna scold you. We're not gonna scold the Kingler. Gonna go Moonblast. It didn't go for Shell Smash. That was lucky. Alright. Now scold. That Kingler was incredibly difficult. There you go. You can raise your stats, I can raise my stats. Alright, so we just need two more of the uh, statues and then we are done. One more. What have we got here? Blast powder. Uh, one more, one more. It's got to be in here somewhere. Firestone. Oh, that could be it. Ooh, I found some great fossils in here. Oh, what'd you find? Oh, Tyrantrum looks... It's fire ice? Oh, dude, I kind of want to use one of those. That is badass. That is so badass. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder what like Aurora's looks like. So Aerodactyl becomes green. It reminds me of um Oh I forget what it was called. What it's from. I had a card in Marvel Snap. That kind of looks like it. I haven't played Snap in a while, but oh okay, this is this is not going well. Please don't kill me like the Kingler did. Um uh, shot. Really wish I just I should kill you, but super effective. Oh, I should have gone for the other one to get the attack boost in Cradilly. Come to fan. Uh, let's go last heaven. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, Greninja, you should outspeed it, right? There we go. Right, so we'll grab this. So that's all of them. Now let's go in a... Oh, Breloom Bot! Hey, you again! Well, that's kind of rude. In the middle of playing a Tetris and you interrupted me, stopped... You interrupted me, stopped me from getting a high score. You are playing Tetris? Where? How? You're not very bright, are you? I'm an AI terminal. I have to keep myself entertained somehow while I uh, wait for you to stumble upon me. And it just so happens that you uh, came at the most inopportune time. Damn it! And it was 800,000 points. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, damn straight you're sorry. Now Caitlyn's stupid bliss bot is going uh, to lord it over me that I can't, uh, couldn't beat her high score. You know Caitlyn's bliss bot? Well, of course I do. All of us bots know one another. So how do you contact her? I thought only I could see you. What? The internet, like everyone else. Stop reading so much into these things, old seat. <laughs> Not that complicated. Oh, honestly, come on, man. All right, let's get healed up. So now let's go and hand these quests in. So the first one is obviously easy because it's back at the start. Yo, I bring the anti-venom. The anti-venom at last. Please give it to me. Please stay with me while I recover. I don't want to die alone. You stayed with me? For all these hours? Thank you, stranger. I didn't expect anything of you, but not only did you help collect the anti-venom, but you watched over me as I recovered. May Arceus watch over you, my friend. Three giga potions, some full heals, revives, full restore. Nice. I mean, I watched over you, but now Angelo's found the sigil and the whole world's going to just, yeah, crumble. So, hope it was worth it. <laughs> right, so how do I get back? I think I just go... Nope. It's round this bit. And then I take a left. It was down here. Yeah. Alright. Uh, let's go and talk to the guy. And this quest in. Well, have you recovered nine relic tablets for me? I have. Brilliant. These relics are highly coveted. Uh, here, take these as your payment for your service. Ooh, nice. Ooh, got a, uh, is it Galele or Galade? For Glalie, nice. Dude, a, a mega Glalie around here would be so helpful. Actually, I don't know if Glalie's ice type in this game. So maybe not, but a normal ice Glalie would be very helpful. 
Route 10 be all another side quest. Greetings, friend. Would you be willing to help a gentleman with his safari expedition? Well, in particular, I am here to obtain the pelts of some particularly elusive cheetah Pokemon, Persian. If you're able to bring back the pelts of some Persians, I would reward you handsomely. What do you say? Would you like to support a gentleman with his safari expedition? Yeah, sure. Wonderful, uh, love. That's what I like to hear. I think to start, if you can bring me the pelts of seven Persians, that would be a wonderful prize. I feel like this could be a negative quest? But not to mention, they would fetch a handsome prize if I were to sell them on the black market. Yeah, it's got to be a negative karma quest, but I've got to go for it. The Persians look sick, though. Uh, if we switch into... Mm, I guess Tingaton got Bone Club. Whoa, you got Dazzling Gleam? Oh, thank you for not attacking there. That could have been bad. Right, gonna lead off with... Uh, Tingaton. Hopefully get some HP back before we get to fight another one. But yeah, the electric types. Not good for Delphox. Oh, another side quest. Tee hee, it's so easy. Have you ever tried to capture Aeron? And I don't mean with conventional Pokeballs. They're a very resilient bunch, but they don't like it when you block out the light around them. But they will easily uh, kill over and faint if they don't know where they are. <laughs> That's a really easy technique to block out the light around them. Simply toss a blanket over them when they are facing away from you. It won't work if they see you coming, obviously, but if you surprise them, they become really easy to capture. Yeah, sure, why not? Feels kind of mean, but they will appear in the undersand caverns that lie beneath the sandy pits. If you can capture eight Aeron for me using uh, these uh, baskets and bring them back to me, I'll be able to capture them without having to waste precious Pokeballs on failed attempts. If you, need, if you need to access the undersand caverns, simply fall through one of these pits beside me, or you can access them through some of the cave entrances themselves on Route 10B. Okay. Let's do this. So I just sneak up behind him and BAM! <laughs> Feels so mean doing that. Uh, nothing over there. I kind of want to talk to you just in case. What Pokemon do all the skulls in here belong to? Good question. So clearly here's Ghost Dark. Uh, I don't think that's even... I mean, it's still decent, I guess. I guess I'll just go Shadow. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, if I go Octavion, Siren Song, that's Disabled pit Perfect Pitch, I keep on saying Pitch Perfect every time because of the movie. Ground Poison, oh, this is, I mean, take my area out, it's bad. Right, Delphox, come on, scold it hard. Oh no, if I got the burn, that would have been so clutch. Oh, Alright, uh, we could. No, I keep forgetting. I, should, I need to go for the Heaven one to get the attack boost. Uh, I guess just we can strike again. That does like nothing. Oh, I'm so gonna lose this. Greninja, save the day, please! Should have played one Thunderbolt. Oh, Raichu, it's up to you. Do not die, do not die. Uh, Magnetic Cannon. Woo! Okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Right, before we get into another fight, we just gotta uh, get the HP. Yeah, HP back with Bliss Bot. That's two. Oh, don't wanna fight. Don't wanna fight. I'm good, I'm good. There's another Aaron over here. Oh, Bone! We're now at 20%. Let's go, BV! Will I get 100%? Probably not, but I, I can... I can keep trying to work at it. That's probably another repel. Gotta be careful because I dude up there, but I don't feel an Aeron, so there's no point. That's not a side quest either. Uh, no, I ran out of Pokeballs. Would you be able to spare me a Super Bowl? I'm all out of Pokeballs, and I need something strong enough to be able to catch the last Pokemon I need in this area. Yeah, I'll give an item. Why not? Good karma, BB! So there's the quest for that. Oh, these amounts of sands have accumulated from the persistent sandstorms. Alright. Uh, we should be fine. 
Please don't kill me. Scold. Nice. Oh, cross. I mean, that's still fine. Keep going. Scold. Oh, the burn there would have been so clutch. So clutch. Oh, this is not looking good, actually. This is... Oh, no. Oh, no. Pikachu, please. Do something. Overdrive super effective. Nice. Oh, yeah, sound good against bug. And then I think sound's also good against water, so yeah, do this. Pikachu and overdrive, man. Very, very good. Alright, let's keep going around. Let's keep trying to find these cheetahs. Gotta find some sand pits. There's another one there. That desert, man. Desert is big. And sandy. Sandstone, sweet. I'm gonna just quickly run a little bit. Whee! Get that HP up. Should be Lino Tinkerton. And let's get a Bone Club off. We just we kill the Persians. We'll be fine. Although I kind of want one of these, so I'm just gonna just catch one. Nice. They do look really cool. Oh, hey! I found some sweet Pokemon from the stream. Okay, what'd you get? Oh, that just looks... Oh, that's pseudo Wudo. So funny. Um, let's go Dragon Hammer. Oh, that's not great. Uh, I need to get, like, an Ice-type really bad. Or a Fire-type would also be kind of good. That's the problem with this desert for me right now. If I had an Ice-type or a Fire-type, I think life would be super easy. One more, one more. Sweet. And then Whirlipede. I don't have super... Yeah, it's not very effective at all. So Battery Acid. Oh, it's so weak, dude. So weak. I keep leaving like everything on like 1 HP as well. Okay. You're defeated. So there was a sand pit there. Oh, never, um, I say cheetah, never Persian. <laughs> and that's what we're going to go for a bone club. I think we should be fine with Serena. Nice. Very nice. That's free. We've got five more to go. Can we surf across? Ooh. Okay, this just got a lot bigger. A lot more difficult to explore. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fine. This is going to be fine. So we want to, I think, head left soon to get to the uh, court space. Uh, but I want to go to the town first, so we're going to go up north. Oh, let me outspeed you. you got the speed booper still. Let me outspeed you. You look very suspicious. Oh, okay. That's fine. So this goes to the town, I'm assuming. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna check this town out later on. It's gonna do the side quest first. Who knows, there might be a third side quest. Thank you for going for agility. Appreciate it. Right, I'm not gonna go through there because I think it's probably best to go like this and then come out, then go in. All right, there's another Aaron. Oh, I hate when there's like two sides and you don't know what's on the other side. I'm gonna go down again just in case there's like an arrow and just chilling or an item. Yeah, see? See? That's why I'm glad I did it. That's why I'm glad. You definitely wanna go on the left side. The right side sucks. Alright. Wasn't there another Persian or did I get it? No, I got the Persian, didn't I? I think. Uh. We're by the start. Let me go around. I, I think I got the Persian. Yeah. I'm some track of where I haven't haven't been. Oh, it's a Do Duo. I'm trying to see what that Pokemon was. Don't want to go down just yet. Turn. Thank you. Oh, there's everyone. Okay, that's where we're supposed to go. So we're not going to go that way just yet. We have some exploring to do. I don't 
think I've been down there. Before we go down there, though, let's just... Yeah, make sure there's no Persians we can grab. Don't know how many more we got to take out. There's another one. I feel like we're going to be getting close now. Oh, you lived. At least the sandstorm also takes you out, so it's pretty good. Oh, that was the last one. Okay, so that side quest is done. Uh, let's jump down there. I feel like this is the last pit hole as well, maybe? Number one, sweet. Just gotta try and check out every nook and cranny. Oh, another one. Max Elixir, nice. I love getting Max Elixir. Oh, there's one just there. That is a cheeky place to burn air on. That was the last one. That was a cheeky place, man. Oh, just so glad I noticed that. Almost walked right past it. This game sometimes a little bit cheeky, you know? Put an arrow on the left side, that thing where there's two ways to go, make you think like it's just nothing. And then BAM! Having to hide behind a rock. Very cheeky. Okay, so let's go this way. This back? Yeah, okay, so there's one. So you managed to capture eight arrow for me? I did. Told you it was easy. Thank you for bringing all these arrow. Now I can capture them uh, easily while they're disoriented without difficulty. Thanks for helping me out. Here, take this as a thank you. Got some berries, a swarm stone, max revive, nice. And was that good karma? It was. Nice. And then you, which I think this could be negative karma, surely. Splendid job. Oh, sorry, where were we, Postman King? But I ought to reward you uh, extra for bringing me back such a fine specimen. Uh, from one poacher to another, thank you. Heart skills, berries, attacks, X defenses, 5,000, and yeah, negative karma. I thought that was being negative karma. Right. Uh, so I'm not gonna go. Let's go across here. I'm not gonna go and meet the gang just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and check out the city. Because we've got a little bit of time to spare, so why not? So my clan power uh, has a very tight barrier it puts up. Have you read its Pokedex entry? It reads as follows. This Pokemon is in a perpetual state of fear that it has sealed itself off in a psychic bubble. It is terrified of bugs on me too. And of the darkness in particular. I'm not scared of the dark, but bugs definitely. So I feel you. <laughs> if I could do that and have a barrier around me from bugs, oh, it'd be great. Best power in the world. Aquila City. So a quick history lesson for you, my friend. Okay, so Aquila City was first erected because of its proximity to the waterfall. In an arid desert, being close to water was critical to the town's early development. Thanks. Very interesting. Right, let's go check out these houses. Is that not a Barry? Probably just a sprite for it. But Aquila City is somewhat remote, so shipping charges to order anything out of the city really starts to add up. Oh, dude, shipping charges from abroad sucks. Ah, oh. honestly. Custom charges are the worst. So I won't mind paying $10 more to bundle. As soon as they charge me even $1 in shipping, I immediately refuse to buy the product. Must be uh, something psychological about my absolute refusal to buy anything that charges me for shipping. Yes, I read something about that once before. It was like um, people were more inclined to... Like, for example, if something was um, £5, they were more inclined to buy if it was for, like, for example, for, like £5 free shipping than if it was £2.50 or £2.50 shipping. It was, I read something about it, it was really interesting but really weird because I was thinking I'm kind of the same. And people are more inclined if, for example, if something was £5, you're more inclined to buy if it was £4.99, 1p cheaper, but you're more inclined to spend that £4.99 than the £5. Anyway, a bunch of uh, the fences for each of the properties have some holes in them that you can sneak into, sneak into them. If you go looking hard enough, there might be some items of value connects. Oh, okay, okay. Sounds good. So, yeah, start from down here because it's like a dead end. There are a number of curious Pokemon that you can find out in the Badlands of Route 23. Make sure you consult your encounters option in your pause menu to check out what appears. I have been doing. I've been finding some bangers. Looking for Electrovire, I'll trade you with my Serena or T. Conkelder. Uh, I'm good. Oh, whoa! Oh, it's a Dr Dodrio. I thought that was like a Bisharp for a second with like big hands. <laughs> it's just a Dodrio. I mean, Dodrio is still awesome. Uh, triple Triad. I'm oh, good. I feel like the people around here are going to probably have really good decks. It's kind of like later game. You need to be fighting people early. 
Uh, yo! So my grandchildren have tried to get me to play video games. But I do enjoy them, uh, the more involved ones are beyond my ability. I'm quite content just playing Tetris on my phone. <laughs> uh, hey there, I'm looking for a Darmanitan, a Trade Eva Extra, or Scrafty. No, I'm good, but what are your thoughts about cheating in video games? Personally, I don't care so long as it's a single player. Yeah, exactly, that's what I feel. I feel like, for me, um, as soon as your cheating starts affecting other people's enjoyment, that's when I draw the line and say, cheating ought to be stopped. But in offline games in particular, you're doing it for your own amusement, so go nuts. Yeah, that, that's how I feel. Like, on cheating on online games is just... I, I, I don't like it, man. It's, it's not cool. Don't do that. But single player games, like, for example, when I play GTA, just put some cheats in, get some guns, go bam, 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 just spawn things in. Yeah, it's fun. It's fine. But do it online, not cool. But do you get a feeling that when you start playing a game, that's all you can really... F yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, as you're going to sleep, you're thinking about this game. This is the problem with recording some games, right? Like this. I, I record for, like, two, three hours, you know. I'll, I'll, play, I'll play, what, two, three episodes, and then I'm, I'm done because my voice is starting to die. And I'm like, oh, dude, I just want to play some more. just want to play some more. Like, I just... Oh, dude. That's why some games I don't record. For example, Spider-Man 2, Final Fantasy 16. If I recorded them... I would just end up being like, Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. I've been playing for 20 hours and I can't record no more. <laughs> but when you commute to work, you're thinking about the game. Man, it's rare that I get that feeling with uh, many of the games I play these days. When I uh, happen upon a game that captures my attention on that, oh boy, it's so much fun. Dude, this year I got to do one of the best years for gaming in a long time. There's so many banging games. I'm still behind on uh, stuff though. Like I need to, like I was going to do like a, I still might do it. I was gonna make like a, maybe like a little short or a video about my top like five games of the year, and I think well my game of the year like I don't know at the moment it's probably Final Fantasy 16. I absolutely love that game so much. Spider-Man 2 was phenomenal. I recently just finished that, but I need to get the Baldur's Gate 3 still, which is a very long game. And Alan Wake 2 is apparently very very good. I played Alan Wake 1 when it came out on the 360 like oh 12 years ago I think it was. It was a very long time ago. It was a banging game. Alan Wake 2 just, yeah, it's been getting 10 out of 10s. Just in this year we had uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I still, need, I got Super Mario Bros. Wonder, but I still need to play it. Like, there's, a, there's a lot of good games this year. Very good games. It's going to be hard. Like, whoever's decision it is to, like, make, like, d d you know, decide the game of the year. Bro. <laughs> oh, just, it's going to be a tough job. From what I've seen, it probably Baldur's Gate 3 is going to win. I, I've basically stayed um, oblivious to it. Like, I know it's a good game. It looks interesting, but I, I don't know anything about it. I want to go in blind. Some of the games I feel like it's just going to, you'll have a fun time if you just know nothing going in. But Light, light Bulb is a signature ability of what Pokemon? Uh, I. Chameco? No. Chandelier? What? Garbodor? What? Araquanid? It's not a light bulb, is it? Oh. I was thinking because like I was thinking maybe the designs light bulby, so it'll have an ability like light bulb, but okay. <laughs> uh what hell diamond increases the effectiveness of sound type moves? Oh, oh, music box. That was easy. Now last question. What steel type move results in the destruction of any barrier type move? Steel type move? Cluster rocket sounds really cool. Shatter? Uh, so it's a Raquinid. Music box. It's not Brick Break, because that's fighting cluster rockets. Oh. Uh, no! I went too fast. Raquinid. And then it's music box. Power drill? Okay. It's a 75 base power steel type move that breaks any barrier such as light screen or reflect. That's cool. What do I get? Got a fossil. Nice. I need to have the fossil for that Tyrantrum because it looks so badass. Pokemon Magician. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, it's 100,000 though, man. 100,000. Can't you do it for like 100? <laughs> oh, just be cheap, please. Be cheap. Right, is there any more? It's got a little gap here we can go through. I'm visiting Aquila City as I am interested in purchasing a vacation property. I don't care so much for the occasional sandstorms here. Perhaps I ought to follow through with uh, that other home I was considering back in Draco City. 
Have I been to Draco? I think I've been to Draco City, right? Let's go down here. What are you doing, old man? I plant a small garden on the hill beside my house. But a lot of people will break through the fence and walk over my plants and ruin them from growing. Just like how you're doing right now. Yeah, sorry about that, sir. What's that? That looks sick. Is that Braviary? Oh yeah, I think it's because of Rufflet's the fire type, isn't it? Uh, hi. I'm going to convince my brother to go to his Telescopian City and put his T Glaceon in there to breed. I want another T Eevee and breed him for Pokemon there that are otherwise very difficult to obtain and is about the only reason to breed anymore. Almost every other reason to breed, such as maxing IVs or teaching egg moves, can be delivered through uh, services NPCs on the second floor of Pokemon Center. Which is nice. I need to get my EVs. I'm very tempted to make an Eevee team for the new evolutions. Is that the T uh, Glaceon? It's ground type, right? The T Eevee evolves into one of eight different Pokemon depending on the evolution stone you use on it. I chose to evolve mine into T Glaceon using a gemstone. Uh. Yeah, I don't want to get walloped in Triple Triad, thank you very much. Yeah, oh, they got a nice looking bridge. Don't quite know how to get down to the shore so I can fish. We're too high up that I can't cast my fishing line out and catch any Pokemon. Must be a way to get closer to the water. Just go down. I mean, I don't know if there'll be fish in there, but you go south a little bit from here. You can easily get to it, but oh, well you go this way. Sometimes I come down here to think. It's a nice little place. I like the music here as well. My daughter needs to uh, give away her Galvantula. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't want it. If you're gonna give me the Galvantula, I'm not taking it. Uh that's triple triad. Got my, got my sister I got my sister a Joltic for her birthday. My family has hated me ever since for doing so. I would hate you so too. <laughs> like nope. Either you move out or I'm moving out. I am not living oh yeah, I'm not living in a house with this. No way. They say he's big and imposing and also a nightmare bug. I don't understand why. Is it his fangs, his tail? Get away from me. <laughs> it's just... Oh, I don't like it. I hate spiders. Alright. Uh, let's go check out this house. Oh, wait, that... I'll do in a second. That rock on the outside looks very suspicious. But nothing good is on TV. Ugh. There's a lot of good stuff for me to watch on TV right now. But like I said, I've got so much to play and record. I've just fallen behind. Right now, the Scott Pilgrim anime came out. And I saw that read the books, well, comics. I don't, would you call it a comic? Mon I don't know, it's not manga, is it? I don't know what you would call it. I've got, I've got the books on my shelves. It's called them books. Um, watched the movie countless times. Massive Scott Pilgrim fan. I, I want to watch the anime, but I know if I watch it, like one episode, I'm going to want to watch all eight. So I just need to find time to binge it all at once. I'm not someone with some self-control, you know? <laughs> If I start playing something or watching something I like, I'll be I'll be playing it for hours or watching it for hours. I'll probably end up finishing it. Unless I get really tired. But Stone Edge, that is not bad. Thank you very much, sir. So I get so thirsty when I'm hiking, but fresh water isn't enough for me. I have some rosary tea instead. I got some, but sweet. And we'll go upstairs. Uh, I, I prefer to play people in triple triad and be social. Ooh. Sorry, sir, I'm just, my deck's just not good. My deck is just not good at all. I'm assume, I'm just going to assume the people around here, like, later on are going to be tougher. I don't think anyone will probably be as tough as the people in the, the black market, though. That was, that was incredibly difficult. If I can just get, like, some decent cards, come back and I'll destroy everyone and everything. But anyway, now let's explore that. Let's make our way to the Cult of Time. Probably should pop a repel as well. Wait, I didn't check what encounters we can get around 10B, did I? That's quests. Uh, mm. Oh, you can get the Tora Cat? During daytime? Okay, uh, it is day, right? I'm just gonna... Change the time, just in case. It's like going to evening or whatever. I'm not gonna pop a repel until I get that Tora Cat. Because I want to see what Incineroar looks like. I feel like it's going to be banging. Manetric is kind of cool as well. I feel like Mega Manetric could be nice. Oh, okay. I'll get the next one. Actually, no, I'm no. Because I've only got one ball left. Hopefully you don't kill it. Uh, Ultra Ball, please get caught. Manetric. Dude! Why are you sucking so bad? 
I lowered your HP. I'm gonna catch you. Be cool. There you go. Honestly. Well, it's kind of Pokemon that just breaks out. Well, we need to get this talk out before we talk to everyone because I think we're gonna head into a new area, so I don't want to miss this. Come on, Toracat. Oh, dude, I love the camera up. I love it so much. So cool. So there's everyone. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just run around. Let me find this Torah cat, and then once we find it, I'll go talk to everyone, and we can go to the cult of time. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, I got a T Lapras. Oh, that's actually kind of sick. I didn't really like the fire one, but I'm gonna get this as well. I've been trying to find this Torah cat for ages, and it will not come up. It must be like a really low encounter. So I'm just gonna do this, and then we'll start throwing some Ultra Balls. Yeah, this Torah cat does not. Oh, okay, Lapras, be cool. Torcat does not want to show up. Lapras! Dude! Be cool! There you go, thank you! Honestly! Breaking out. I'm gonna go for three more encounters. Well, I've been going up and down for so long trying to find this Torcat and it. They, of course, it's the next one. I swear, I've been going around for up and down for so long trying to get this bad boy and it would not show up. And the moment I complain about it, bam, it shows up. Alright. Now we got that. Uh, I should not go pop a repel just yet, so I think we're going to a new area. Let's talk to everyone. So this is not good, everyone. Manif and I just finished doing some scouting of the Oasis. The Ethereal Guild are here, and they're already ransacking the tombs. Savages! How dare they desecrate these tombs? Oh, Frig, I knew this would happen. Have you spotted Angelo himself yet? No, I've just seen his henchmen in their typical blue uniforms. Hm, <laughs> typical. That coward Angelo is having his lackeys do all the grunt work of pillaging the tombs. We need to get in there and chase those henchmen of his out. At the same time, we can investigate the sigils on each of the uh, tombs once we've cleared the Ethereal Guild out. Hopefully we can find the sigil before Angelo and the Ethereal Guild do. Given that it's just ordinary henchmen, I think the most efficient way for us to cover the most ground is a split up. Each of us should be able to uh, field these people ourselves. From what I could uh, scope out, there are 9 tombs throughout the Oasis. So when you've cleared each of the tombs of any Ethereal Guild henchmen, inspect the sigil on them to see if any of them look like the Sigil of Space. So what does the Sigil of Space look like? A circle within another larger circle. There's a small line connecting the inner circle with the outer circle that extends out from the bottom of the inner circle. Oh, I think I understand, but got it, be careful, okay. <laughs> I think I understand what she means, but circle, circle, line. That's what I'm thinking. All right, let's look at the encounters around here so we can find and maybe we can get a Banging new design. Hmm. 